Breaking the Wall of Maternal and Newborn Mortality. Arun Agarwal, Janitri. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Arun Agarwal, founder of Janitri Innovation. So Janitri itself is a Sanskrit word of mother. And our whole vision, we are actually working with a vision to see a world where no mother and newborn dies during pregnancy, delivery, and post-delivery. So before I started Janitri, I have actually traveled to more than 100 hospitals across India. I've spent a lot of time into the labor ward. I've seen live deliveries. I've seen C-section. And I could able to correlate a lot of challenges when I saw like, what exactly missing there. So I met a lady in north part of India. She was having the fetal heart rate. She was having the uterine contraction. She moved to the hospital setting, but she go back without the baby. And millions of mother and baby is actually going back without that. So if you look at the number, 250,000 mother and 2 million newborn actually dies during, during delivery or the labor process. Unfortunately, more than 99% of these deaths occur in developing countries like India, Africa, Southeast Asia. So during the intrapartum phase, fetal heart rate and the uterine contraction, these are two important parameters to get to know the status of both mother and fetus. But unfortunately, more than 85% of the time, these parameters get monitored inaccurately or ignored because of several reasons. Number one, we don't have the enough skilled staff nurses in our hospitals which can do that in the labor time because they are super busy in their OPD, in their emergency. Number two, we don't have the affordable devices which can do that. So if you go back, if you see that on the top picture, the, the, the staff nurses placing their hand on the abdomen and counting how many times the uterine contractions are coming. On the, on the down picture, you can see that she's monitoring the fetal heart rate using the fetal Doppler, but she really don't have time to do that during the intrapartum phase. The existing device which is available in market, which is called cardio tocography, you can see this picture, it's a big bulky machine. It's not affordable for the developing countries. It comes to more than $2,000. It has two sensors, one is Doppler and one is toco, has to be placed on the abdomen of a pregnant woman. It's very difficult for the staff nurses to use. Even it is very, it's not really comfortable for the mother. And it prints the output in a graphical format, which always required an obstetrician to interpret those graphs. And we have only 50 to 60,000 obstetricians over 30 million births per year, which is even not the population of most of the country. So after validating all these problems, challenging, we thought that what we need is something affordable, we thought we need something very super easy to use. We need something which is, uh, can give some sort of an alert based on that data. So that's what the whole solution looks like. So this is a patch-based device. It can be placed on the abdomen of a pregnant woman during the labor phase in the hospital setting. It monitors fetal heart rate, uterine contraction, and maternal heart rate. It wirelessly transmits the data to a mobile app and also gives alert if there's something wrong. So this works on the electrode-based principle. This is not a Doppler, this is not a TOCO. This is the surface electrodes, which pick up the electrical signal. So we get the fetal ECG, we get the uterine electromyography, we get the maternal ECG, and then we calculate this. It's super easy to use, they just need to peel off the patch, they need to place on the abdomen, and it's monitoring these parameters. And it automatically generates this WHO recommended partograph, which is a decision-making tool. We have already reached in more than 100 hospitals in nine states in India. More than 25,000 pregnancies has been monitored. More than 2,000 referrals has been done based on that pyramid of healthcare setting. Business model-wise, currently we are selling this to the hospital because hospital is our customer. The obstetrician are key opinion leader or the influencer. We have identified this based on the government hospital, what they need, one to five bedded hospital, what they need, five to 10 bedded hospital, what they need, because they can also take our patches, can do multiple monitoring, all the data can be transferred to a centralized monitoring. So hospital is our customer, clinics is our customer, obstetrician is our customer. We are doing a lot of pilots with the foundation like UNICEF, other foundation to make sure it reaches to the low resource healthcare setting. Thank you. Let's innovate for saving life at birth. Thank you.